footage to put one full dive together. So um, I'm just gonna mash like three different dives into one video. Um, the first dive was out on the Lee Coast with Daniel from work um, in his Thundercat, which is great fun getting out there and getting back. Um, but yeah, we, when we got to the spot, it was just impeccable birds for the coastline. Um, probably about 15 meters. Um, you could clearly see fish on the floor from about 15 meters. So yeah, it was just amazing. The goal was to get Daniel his first kingfish. Um, and I was pretty keen on trying to find some John Dory. First sort of thing, I'd sort of butterfish, so I thought I'd take that because they're not very common in those areas so you see them once and they're pretty much gone after that so shot that guy and it sort of sort of like bounced off the fish like went in and then just came straight out like didn't have enough power which is sort of strange um and yeah he, he just swam off like nothing happened um and then it was sort of going down and looking um between the break and the weed in the sand um for some John Dory. There's some great bombies on the spot with um, you know, broken rocks away from the weed with um, kelp stalks on top. And yeah, just found this John Dory sitting in it, just perfect camouflage. down and when I hit the sand I was quite weighted I was weighted quite heavy um, spooked him and I shot at the same time and put in a real high shot so I, I really wanted to keep the John Dory and it was on the Dyneema so I just let it spool me and went to the surface called Daniel over to put a second shot in it. Well Dan Go down and check this fish. I don't think I shot it very well. Okay. Come over here. Which he did and it was actually my personal best um, at 1.6 kgs, which is you know, not a bad John Dory. And then when I had the John Dory in my hand, we had um, a school of kingfish come in. And um, Daniel dug down and put a nice shot into one. and. I sort of went down and checked out the rest of the school. Um, there wasn't really a big model sitting in it, that's what I was looking for. Um, so I left it and sort of wanted to make sure that Daniel got his in, um, so I could protect him from sharks, because it's quite a shark in the area. And yeah, he was, he was doing really well with his first kingfish, but um, we put a second shot in and just stoned it, which is, you know, what you want. And yeah, he was pretty stoked over the moon with that. Um, his first decent fish. So yeah, gutted and gilded on the boat. Jumped back in for another little look. Um, trying to get a boar fish because that was sort of the start of the season. Um, and yeah, didn't really find much other than uh, a blue cod, which was sort of different for you know the, the Omaha sort of area. Um, Cod looked of size to me, so I put a, a shot into it and it sort of bounced off the head. I sort of ripped its way through, but didn't catch anything. Um, and then, luckily, on the next dive, I um, found it again and just, just put a shot straight through the eye. And yeah, it, once it sort of got up, it looked you know, pretty marginal. I'd never shot the cod, but um, we went back to the boat and we didn't have a measure, so I don't want to go and take back an undersized fish. So I measured her on my snorkel and later found out it was probably just legal or maybe just under. So um, still cool to find one like that, but a bit of a shame that I shot at an undersized. But you know, sometimes it happens and you gotta kind of learn from that. The next dive 
five was um, down in the Coromandel. Um, met up with David and we'd go and try some spots um, in the local islands. So stopped in a weed line first and there's lots of fish and it was just really, really clear. So very pleasant diving. Um, was it too much um, in terms of target species? There was a trally um, coming through, but they weren't very big and they were pretty antsy. Um, it's all sort of my first blue moki ever, and yeah, you get the sense pretty quick that they're pretty dumb fish. Um, this one sort of just like cruised in front of me, didn't really care what I was, um, which is quite cool. Um, nothing turned up on that one, so we moved spot. This next spot was just sort of littered with trevally. I had a kingfish come in straight away, and then was followed by a bunch of kahoa. So, did a dive, and um, the trevally appeared in the school, so shot him. was just followed by a lot of dives with a lot of um, sort of small to medium sized trevally. Um, not too much else, um, just sort of that sort of trevally and bait fish. It's really cool just to sit down there and to watch them all and have eagle rays fly through and stuff like this. Very scenic but um, a lot of window shopping. Proceeded to another spot that's more inshore. <laughs> I was riding the anchor up, you're like pulling me up. <laughs> and um, I started slipping some ledges. I found a penny sitting over a ledge, um, which I left and started up early. Shot a drummer and smashed, you know, half a dozen pinna down there. Came back five minutes later um, to what was sort of the perfect setup early. And there was a moray, you know, <laughs> there was some snapper in there, but they weren't being very competitive because the moray had sort of taken over. But yet again, still just little pennies. Got the call to jump back in the boat so pushed over the ledge and just sort of tried to shoot the little panty that was on it but didn't really go to plan. The next trip was back in the same spot down the Coromandel um, with the new boat. I've been on the look for a new boat for the last while. I've been already through two boats this year um, and yeah found something that I really liked. Um, found a a really nice setup Mac 360, which is a plastic pontoon boat. And center console running a 30 Mercury, and yeah, just a sweet um, little setup for two divers. Got big um, platforms on the back to sit on, and the boat's just extremely stable. Um, got the bimmy, and yeah, it's plastic, so it's, it's nice to wash down, and you can't poke holes through it with your spear gun. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, really happy so far. Um, shot out to again some of the inshore islands um, and found a really nice ledge. Um, you know, I knew the potential of it and sort of had the bait on the top of it so cruised, cruised over it and um, there was just a schooling trevally in it and a couple small pennies so I pushed back and decided to curly it up. Half a dozen kinner again. Mm -hmm. 
while I was building it up, um, another diver turned up and sort of just wailed over my spot and yeah, kind of spooked everything in the valley and sort of probably had done most of that um, shoreline there. So I decided, all right, well, I'm just gonna have to move spots because um, I can't really be bothered putting in work for it just to be ruined. Um, so then moved to um, the shoe and um, didn't really find much, um, but I had to shoot something, so I ended up shooting a pigfish. Next day, sort of went out and um, went. Boosted out to shoe the next day. The plan was to go snorkeling with the girlfriend, um, snorkeling with a spear gun. Um, and yeah, we're sort of just chugging around the shallows and found a couple of squid piped up. So shot one of those and it was good size and the first squid I'd shot. And um, her grandparents and parents were pretty happy. That was quite delicious. Um, and then went out on her granddad's boat and sort of, it was sort of a fishing mission. So spent 10, 20 minutes in the water diving. The great thing about diving is you can get species that aren't always targeted or aren't always eaten. And you know, a fish that is fresh and that is properly prepared is always going to taste taste good. Um, I was sort of pushed for time, so there was no sort of ego about getting a big snapper or shooting a kingfish or something like that. So I had the spider fish come in and he sort of wanted to die, so he went in the bag. Um, and then I was snooping some ledges with the um, through the guts over a ledge on the spider fish sort of went down and snooped that and then this poor eye just sort of popped up and presented a perfect shot. So I took it, um, not a fish I would normally take but you know they do taste still pretty good and for people that don't normally eat different varieties of fish it was it was something that was you know good to take. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this is a style that I haven't really done, so let me know if you like it. Um, there should be more coming soon, so stick around.